A short time ago, former UAW Vice President Norwood Jewell stood in front of a judge and pleaded guilty to taking money earmarked for training workers and spending it on lavish trips and $1,000 dinners. That makes Jewell now the highest ranking labor leader convicted in this ongoing investigation of corruption. Jewell could spend up to five years in prison, but prosecutors have agreed to recommend a 15-month sentence, and we caught up with his attorney. My hope is he doesn't go to jail. My hope is that this is something that the judge sees is distinguishable from every other defendant that has come forth that took things for personal use. And so far unclear whether Jewell is telling investigators anything about his former superiors in exchange for a lighter sentence.